It's one of Detroit's most iconic restaurants, and Lafayette Coney Island has now been shut down for an entire month. The Detroit Health Department shut down the place after video of rats in the building went viral. The city claims no progress has been made. And 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is sifting through the inspection reports and finding out how often health code violations lead to actually closing a restaurant. Lafayette just happens to have that atmosphere that I like. It's a little bit divey, which I know got them into trouble. I'm part of a group that's called Next Door, and it's, it's information about things that are happening in the neighborhood. So a lot of people spoke about it, very disappointed. You give it a second thought before you go in there, especially if you're with your family. You don't want to have anybody get a foodborne illness or something along those lines. So it makes you think about it. Lafayette Coney Island in downtown Detroit remains closed because of rat droppings. During interviews with 7 Action News in September, the owner's son said a garden and vacant building space next door are to blame. We know we got to tighten up, clean up, and that's what we're doing. To understand the severity of the violations Lafayette is facing, I scheduled a sit-down interview here at the Detroit Health Department to speak with the city's chief public health officer, Denise Ferrarazzo. We have done to date about 1,700 inspections. We've only closed about one or two sites, so it's not common for us to close locations. We don't enjoy enforcement. It's something that we have to do. Razo says for the most part, most of Detroit's nearly 2,000 restaurants are following guidelines. Routine annual inspections are unannounced. If a violation cannot be corrected during the inspection, she says the inspector will come back within 30 days. Razo says what surfaced at Lafayette is out of the ordinary. 7 Action News obtained a copy of the May inspection report through the Freedom of Information Act, which is now also available online. How did the inspection in May play into, you know, what just happened recently? Sure. So Lafayette's last routine inspection was in May. We went on site and it was a pretty fair review. Um, we only saw that there were some gnats in the facility, which can be corrected. Only gnats. But 30 days later, she says the health department received a complaint about rodents in the facility and that inspectors found a small amount of rat droppings. 30 days after that, a video on social media prompted inspectors to return and shut the place down in early September. Since then, Rosal says the restaurant has called the health department more than once, saying the issues are fixed and they're ready to reopen. However, she says holes still need to be closed to stop the infestation. The entire facility still needs to be cleaned including the dining area and basement. And there are still rat droppings. It's like they haven't made any progress at all, which is really disappointing. Lafayette is a staple in the city of Detroit. We want them to open up, but we want them to operate in a very safe and healthy environment. And they're just not there yet right now. I reached out to a manager for Lafayette for a comment. He said he would reach me back when he returns to the restaurant. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.